lot of you guys are on the way to becoming software engineers. Whether you're a computer science student or learning programming online, I'm sure you eventually get there. So I thought it would be useful to share my top developers essentials that every single engineer should become proficient at. First off, common line interface or terminal. It might look scary at the beginning, but the terminal is actually your secret weapon. You can easily navigate through the files and directories, create, update or delete them. You can check system information and monitor resources and lots of other things that improve your workflow. But you could ask a reasonable question. Why do I need to use terminal if I can simply utilize the same tool with graphical UI? Well, not every tool has a GUI. Also, terminal is more lightweight and efficient. It allows to automate tasks using scripts. And speaking of applications that are running in the cloud or Docker containers, the terminal is one of the easiest easiest tool that helps you to connect to a remote server and do whatever you need. And yeah, I agree, visually it can look kinda boring. But fortunately, there are a few things you can do to make it much better, such as installing all my ZSH that brings a lot of endless customizations, and also using something else than your default terminal. Warp command line is my favorite option. I've been using it for over a year now, and in my opinion, it's one of the best terminals out there. Finally, you wanna look cool, right? So you can even use your CLI as your code editor. Moreover, there was a time when software engineers didn't have edit with graphical UI and everything was done directly in the terminal. And by the way, if you want to become a skilled software engineer who creates modern, robust and maintainable applications without unnecessary complexity, my partner's course careers will help you to achieve that. I genuinely believe that their software development fundamentals course is a great starting point that will take you from absolute basics all the way to interview prep. Course careers get you all set to land an entry-level software engineer position. You will build a solid understanding of data structures, algorithms, and system design, which can be a game changer in the actual interviews. Also try yourself in both backend and frontend, choose your path, and go beyond the basics to more specialized topics. Additionally, you will get access to Discord community where you can network with other students, mentors, and your instructor. You will be working on your own projects that will be reviewed by a mentor who's already working in the industry. So if you guys want to break into tech, there is a free introductory course that you can take with no obligations and most importantly, without any prior experience or degree. And if you use my link, you will get $50 off from the full course. All right, the next engineers must have is a modern integrated development environment or just simply ID. It's a place where you'll be spending the most of your time and there are different IDs for different programming languages and type of development. For instance, VS Code is one of the most popular choices for web development, Xcode for iOS and macOS development, Android Studio for building Android applications, and finally, my daily driver for Java development is IntelliJ IDEA. Using an ID significantly enhances your programming experience for several reasons. Super easy and quick navigation that can be limited by your project or expanded to all external libraries, code auto-completion and auto-generation, refactoring, import management and organization, real-time completion warnings, ease of running unit and integration tests, integrated debugging, and a lot more. Also, by adding plugins, you can set it up in a way that exactly fits your flow. Here are a few plugins recommendations for IntelliJ IDEA. Sonar Lint, Rainbow Brackets, One Dark Theme, Docker, Lombok, and GitHub Copilot. The next essential tool is the version control system, or its most popular implementation, Git. Simply put, it's like a time machine tool that allows safely adding new project changes and storing backups remotely. You know, I can try imagine that someone works as a developer and doesn't use ID or terminal. It would be hard though, but I can try at least. But without using Git, everything would turn into a complete chaos. There is a 100% chance that files will be accidentally overridden. But instead, each time you log off, you can push your changes to Git or GitLab and make sure they won't be lost if your laptop breaks. 
Also, you can create separate branches for new features or fixes, test them independently, and then merge them back into the main codebase. Here is an example from my project Playlist Mate. I want to create a run configuration for my backend, so it would make the initial setup smoother. By the way, almost all IDEs have integrated version control plugins, but for now I'm gonna show how to add my changes manually. So I create a branch from the main one, give it a proper name with the Jira ticket number, add the file to local git, commit the changes, and the final step is to push this run config to the github. From there I can review the changes once again and merge them into the main branch. The last crucial thing in this list is package managers and build tools, such as npm, webpack and gradle. One guy I knew called a package manager as a tool for downloading the internet. Of course it doesn't really download the entire internet, but what makes it essential for devs is pulling all the required by a project primary and transitive dependencies, which can be dozens and dozens. So adding and upgrading libraries can be and should be as easy and painful as possible. And there you have it. Hope this was helpful and let me know if you would add anything to this list. See you soon guys.